I want to integrate uh, the sine of sine to the third power of x. Okay, this might seem complicated, but um, this requires um, kind of to see things through. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll write the integral of sine cube x as let me do this in a new color as sine squared of x times sine of x dx. Right? It is a fairly legal way to do, do that. Right? It is my wish. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use this identity which comes from the one of the most basic identities in all of trigonometry. Um, it says that the cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x is 1. Um, so if you rearrange a bit, you get that cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. Okay. Um, or actually, I've, I, I should have done the opposite. I should have done that the sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared. Both are correct, but I will use the second one. Okay. So this becomes the integral of sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared, right? So it is 1 minus cosine squared of x times the sine of x dx. And now, um, uh, I use the classic u substitution, okay? Um, I'll substitute u to be the cosine of x. I'm substituting that. So let me differentiate both sides. So I'll get cosine of x is minus, oh sorry, du is minus sine of x dx. Okay, and I think you uh, you see where we are going with this. Uh, this will become the integral of 1 minus, cosine squared is uh, nothing but u squared, right? I substituted that. And sine of x dx is minus du. So I can just bring that negative out times du. Or this is just the integral of um, if I bring the negative inside, then the places switch. So this becomes u squared minus 1 dx. Oh, sorry, du. So this is um, quite trivial. This is um, as easy as you'll get in, a, in an integral problem. So this is u cubed divided by 3 minus u plus some constant. And we're not done yet because... Again, we have to, uh, we have to express our answer in terms of x because the uh, the people would not know w w what u is, right? Uh, they just know what is x. <laughs> okay, uh, so u is cosine of x. So let's just substitute that. So this becomes the cosine to the third power of x divided by divided by three minus u, which is the cosine of x plus some constant. Okay, so this seemed quite hard and tough, but it really isn't. It's just a matter of separating uh, things out and uh, writing in. Uh, and I kind of saw that because um, if you express this in terms of cosine, then you have its derivative, which is the sine sitting right beside it. So it is um, a classic problem for uh, for uh, for u substitution, right? Um, if I if I uh, I would have given the problem to you in this form, then it was very very easy, right? You could have just seen that the cosine squared's derivative is sine of x, so you you could have just substituted this and proceeded proceeded like this. But it was not quite um, this was uh, quite confusing. So uh, this one minus cosine squared was written as sine squared, and it was multiplied by this sine of, uh, sine x and written as integral of sine cube x just to confuse people and uh, make them feel that they cannot do it but you always can right okay i'll see you in the next video